emergency powers. What is the meaning of emergency power? First of all, we need to understand about what is meaning emergency and when can emergency be imposed in our country. And that emergency is also known as precedence rule. That emergency is also known as precedence rule. Now, there are three types of emergency. Number one is national emergency. Number two, we have is constitutional emergency. And number three is financial emergency. Now, national emergency, when a country is under external threat, like a war-like situation, we have a threat from external powers. That time also we can impose emergency. Within that, internal disturbances are there within the country. Whenever there is an internal disturbances within the country, that time also precedent rule can be imposed. Then the second one, constitutional emergency. Whenever the government fails to run according to the constitution, suppose elections are held. In the first instance, government cannot be formed. Again elections are held. Again no party came to power. Then it is not wise to conduct the election again and again. In that, that time, we can impose president rule. During the president rule in a state, governor becomes the head. Governor, under the guidance of the president, will look after the administration of that state. So, failure of constitutional machinery. If the government of the state is not functioning according to the constitution, or even the parliament of the country is not functioning according to the constitution, then definitely president rule can be imposed, which comes under constitutional emergency, under emergency powers of the president. And the third one we have is, third one we have is, okay, number one, national emergency. Number two, constitutional emergency and number three financial 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 emergency when the country financial condition becomes unstable that time also financial emergency is imposed by the president so there should not be a confusion my dear that uh, that means president has so much of powers, but all the powers are given to him by the prime minister and the council of ministers. That we must keep it in mind.